Hello again. So my name is Shubham, and uh, in this video, we'll be talking about few a few numericals based on the resistances in parallel. So this is our next topic that we already discussed. This was your diagram, as you can, as you might remember that uh, we drew this diagram. And in case of parallel combination, we talked about whatever amount of current is being flowing through this battery that is having the potential difference of V volt. The total amount current is divided into three parts. I1 would go in this arm. Let's say this has I1 and I2 would go in this arm, which is having the resistance R2 and I3 would go in this arm, which is having the resistance R3. So the potential difference across all these three resistors are same, which has been shown by this value, volt uh, value V. And this is your emitter that has been connected and this is the key. This we already discussed as well. So the final expression that came out to be after derivation was this one. 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1. This is 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. This was your final expression. And we also discussed in this case that current was being divided. This uh, unlike the previous case where the voltage was being divided, in case of parallel combination, the current was being divided as I1 plus I2 plus I3, as we have already discussed in the diagram as well. So let's proceed to the question and question says that in the circuit diagram given below in figure number 12.10, so let's go to 12.10 figure. This is the figure 12.10. The question says that when we consider this figure, the R1, R2 and R3 has these three values, 5 ohm, 10 ohm and 30 ohm. So R1 value is 5 ohm, R2 is 10 ohm and R3 is 30 ohm, which have been connected to a battery of 12 volt. The value for potential difference of the battery is 12 volt. Calculate the current through each resistor, total current in the circuit and total circuit resistance. So you can see in the solution that R1 is 5, R2 is 10 and R3 is 30 and the value for V is given as 12 volt. Now we know that when we divide the or rather when we have this parallel combination of resistances, the voltage remains same across all the resistances and the current is divided. So V would be same. R1 Across R1, V would be same. Across R2, it will be having same value for potential. And R3, it will be having same value for potential. So I'll write as well here for your convenience that potential difference. You can also note these points if you want. Potential difference across all the resistors will be same in parallel. So you can note this point that potential difference across all the resistors will be same in parallel. If the potential difference would be same, then we can calculate or then we can say that the current is divided across all the resistors. If the potential difference would be same, the current is divided across all the resistors. So now we have to calculate the current through each arm. And uh, for calculating that, this is the first part, the current through each resistor. V is equal to IR. This we know that V is equal to IA into R. So we can also note this value that IA would be equal to V by R. So this thing you have to be very sure about. Ohm's law suggests that. V is equal to IR and I would be V by R if we calculate if we take this resistance to the denominator. For first resistance, that is this 5 ohm resistance, the potential difference would be same 12, which has been given in this question here. So I1, that is the current flowing through this first resistor, I1 would be V upon R1. For this, we can write this like this I1 is equal to V1 upon R1. This we can write. I1 is equal to V1 upon R1. V1 would be have value would be having the value same. That is this uh, 12 volt. 
and R1 we already have calculated or we already have been given rather we are not calculated it has been given to us 5 ohm so V1 would be 12 and R1 would be 5 so value of I1 would be 2.4 ampere this is the value of current that is flowing through the first resistor in the same way we can calculate the value for I2 that is the current flowing through the second resistor and we can write I2 is equal to V2 upon R2 and value for V2 would be same as V1 that is 12 volt here we have already put and R2 as we can see again in the question it has been given to us R2 is having the value for this 10 ohm this this is the value for R2 this is this is the value R2 is 10 ohm so we will put that value for R2 in the question 12 upon 10 the value for I2 would be 1.2 ampere and similarly the current I3 through resistance R3 would be V upon R3 if you want to write you can write it as well I3 would be equal to this I3 wait this I3 is equal to this V3 upon R3 so this is how we can write for this expression that I3 is equal to V3 upon R3 and V3 would be same again 12 volt and R3 would be 13 R3 is also taken from this 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 is the value for R3 that we have taken we have taken R3 would be so this is the total value for I3 0.4 ampere now we have to calculate the total value for current we have already calculated the current through each resistor second part suggests that total current in the circuit what is the value for total current in the circuit what we'll simply do is we'll add these three currents that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 i1 has been given the value as 2.4 then i2 would is 1.2 this is value for 1.2 that we have calculated and i3 is 0.4 so we will simply put these three values here and we will calculate the total amount of current flowing through the circuit as 4 ampere the next and third part for this is we have to calculate the total circuit resistance and total circuit resistance for that i'll again take you to the diagram if we have to calculate the total circuit resistance we say that all these three resistors are now connected in parallel here i am writing for you as well parallel connection if we have written that these three connected in parallel then we will use the formula 1 upon rp this is the formula that we'll use 1 upon rp is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 where r1 r2 r3 has been given to us 1 upon rp is this is the value for r1 that is 5 this is the value for r2 that is 10 and this is the value for r3 that is 30. for solving this you will simply take the lcm i will write it here as well for the convenience that after taking the lcm after this step take take the lcm and solve the equation after solving the equation you will simply get the value for rp and uh, one more thing this this is for this one more thing you have to uh, be very careful about and this is the step in which a lot of students would make mistake so you need to be very very aware of the fact that 1 upon rp is coming out to be 1 upon 3 now why i am telling this that we started from this 1 upon rp value and we have reached this 1 upon 3 value in the question it has not been asked to calculate the 1 upon rp value but it has been asked to calculate the rp value so we will simply take the reciprocal of it and the value for rp would be 3 ohm which we have already calculated here or which has been shown here value for rp is 3 ohm so i suggest all of you to go through this numerical and we will continue some numericals in the next video as well before starting or before proceeding to the next topic so solve these numericals carefully and after solving these two numericals you can try these numericals that has been given on your this page number what is the page number for this the page number 216 these are the numericals that has been given to page number 16 
just judge the equivalent resistance when the following are connected in parallel this these two are the resistances r1 is given as 1 ohm and r2 is given as 10 is per 6 ohm so we you will simply use the formula for 1 upon r p is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 and then you can calculate the value for the resistances in uh, parallel similarly for second part you will take 1 and 10 is per 3 and this there are three resistances this this is the value for r1 that is 1 ohm and uh, this is the value for r2 that is 10 is per 3 ohm and this is the value for r3 that, that is 10 is per 6 ohm we'll discuss these all uh, in the next video or in next part as well now one more thing i would suggest you to do is one more question rather i would suggest you to try is the question number fifth after trying this question number first what is the highest and what is the lowest total resistance that can be secured by the combination of four coils 4 8 12 and 24 it is very simple question just remind yourself of the fact that whenever you have to calculate the highest resistance you will use the formula for series combination and whenever you will have to calculate the lowest resistance you will use the formula for parallel combination so i will write it here as well so that you don't get confused with this so for series combination you will use the formula for highest and for lowest you will use the formula for parallel combination so what you will do is you will take this as r1 you will take this as r2 this as r3 and this as r4 you will simply apply the series combination rs is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 and you can easily calculate the highest resistance that has been that would be there and as far as the lowest resistance is concerned for lowest resistance you will write or you will uh, apply the formula for this parallel combination and parallel combinations would suggest that 1 upon rp is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 plus 1 upon r4 and after taking the lcm of that you can simply have uh, you, can, you can simply solve this i'll give you the solutions for these two questions as well in the next video and meanwhile you can try other questions like this as well take care we'll see you in the next video